Hey everybody, Fabio here. Welcome back to another video. So if you're like me, sometimes you wanna hide your solid black outlines on some of your pieces. But when you go to hide your line art, your color art looks terrible. Unfortunately, there is a way to color in your line art so it doesn't look so terrible. We're gonna take a look at that today. But first, let's duplicate our color art. You can turn that off. So what we do is non-destructive, and if we make a mistake, we can always come back to our original piece. Let's lock our duplicated line art. This locks the transparency, so now I can only draw on my line art. So I wanna outline this purple color first, so I'll use I as a hotkey and pick my purple. But the trick here is I'm not gonna paint in this exact same purple. What I'm gonna do is go to my color wheel, go down to the left a little bit, and make it a little bit closer to blue. Now when we color in, our purple is slightly darker. Not too much, but just a little bit. Now we'll do the same thing for the yellow. So eyedropper, yellow, a little bit down, a little bit to the left, and a little bit closer to blue. Right, and we'll just mark it here. And you could do this for as many colors as you have in your piece. Now the process is simple. I'm back on my line art layer, and I'll just color in everything that I want to be purple. So I'm taking it slow, being very careful, and some things like the eyes and the mouth, I'll leave outlined in black. Just so I find it stands out a little bit more. Now for the yellow, I drop the yellow color and start painting in the yellow parts. It's really this easy guys because I can't even paint out of the lines because my transparency is locked. So if we just take a little look, we have our black lines on top. If we hide them, we get a softer look but it doesn't look as horrible if we have no lines at all. So if we continue the process through the entire piece, we should have something that looks like this. We have all the lines colored in. And if we compare, it's just a softer look that looks a lot better than this. And of course, this is before we even add any light and shadow, so there's still more to be done. This just gives us that look we were after. So that's all the time we have for today, guys. Hopefully you learned something about coloring your line art in Sketchbook. If you have any questions, comment, you think you could do it better, comment below, I'd love to hear from you. That's it for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video.